Hello lovelies, um, my name is Sarah and I'm the owner of SB Creative and this is my first plan with me video so bear with me. Now everyone always has their nails done in these videos so I actually just did mine yesterday and they're cute little Easter ones from Jamberry and I love it. Um, this might be full of a lot of ums and rambling so hopefully I'll keep it short and hopefully my video won't die out while I'm doing it. So as you can see I have a horizontal. Um, so I'm going to be actually using uh, one of my kits, kits from my shop, which is the uh, the spring kit, which some of the pages are upside down. So this is the uh, the spring kit that I did. I just had my Easter one the week before, so um, even though it's like Easter Monday on the 28th, I thought I would do kind of a spring showers kind of really fun bright colors. So. I will kind of show you what I typically do for my horizontal because I know a lot of people are always wondering how to decorate it or, um, or why someone might like horizontal over vertical. Um, so I'll show you all of that. Okay, so first off, um, normally I would actually take out the dates and put in, I have these like little, uh, I call them like space saver date covers because I put them up on the side. I would show you previous months, but honestly, I just don't want to give away all the things that I write down about where I am or what I'm doing, because that's a little creepy. Um, but usually I would put those in, but obviously you can see they do not match the kit. They match the monthly colors, so I'm not going to do that this week, because that would be so ugly. So we'll just toss those away. Um, so usually I would do that first if I was going to be doing um, kind of a regular week to week, but... For now, I will start with my headers. So these kits come with um, to-do boxes, check boxes, weekend banner, flags, blah, 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 a bunch of cute like cover ones, and then um, some extra stickers, but they also come with header cover-ups. So I will show you those. Now this one is on, this one is on glossy. I've got this like printed on glossy paper, so it is permanent, so hopefully I, position these things correctly or else I'm gonna hate myself but um usually I find for the the getting the headers and the mat and the um divider washi on I find that the mat removable is a little bit easier um so bear with me as I try to put these on without screwing up the alignment so I'm really careful with mine I kind of just hold them up and then uh, hopefully you can't see my head as I'm popping in there. And then kind of just before I stick them down, try to get them in about the right spot. I don't really worry if a little bit of the edge of this side of the paper is showing. I focus more on kind of covering up the inside edge. Just because every, I find that all the sheets of um, Erin Connor paper are all different. So, like, I just find that, um, they're not always the same exact same size or cut at the exact same spot. So don't really worry about being perfect, but just focus on kind of covering up those main spots in the, on the inside. Now this one's kind of tricky. Hopefully my head is not poking in. If not, if you are, you're gonna see how disgusting the rest of my body is. My hands are all done nice, but everything else is just like a hot mess. That's what happens when you work from home. Okay, so I kind of laid in this, this, the centerpiece. If this was matte removable, I would actually kind of be able to angle it a little better. But because it's permanent, I have to be really slow. And then just wipe it down. Um, like I mentioned, I love, 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 love uh, glossy. Just because the colors are so much amazing, like so much better. Uh, if, you're, if you're able to splurge on glossy, I would highly recommend it. There is really a reason why there's a reason why all of those big sticker companies, some of them only do glossy, is because the print quality just looks so much better. And the colors are just way brighter and more fun. You know. What am I doing? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So this kit was a little, the pattern of it was a little fun. Kind of like, um, cute frogs and dragonflies and I think I've gotten this one a little crooked. We're just gonna go with it. Pray for the best. Doesn't always work out, right? Not everything is always perfect, but 
This one was gonna have a little wrinkle on it. Usually I don't have wrinkles. Usually I would rip it up and do it again. But for the sake of the video, I'm probably gonna move on. Let me just see if I can uh, kind of slowly peel it up and try and fix it. If you're really gentle, usually you can, but then eventually you'll kind of hear the cracking and you know that you've screwed it all up. Okay, so put that down. This is probably the hardest thing I'd say to apply with the permanent. Um, and it really just depends how OCD you are. Uh, if you're not very OCD like me, or if you're not OCD, it won't be an issue, but like you can see right there, there's a little bit of a, uh, there's a little bit of a wrinkle. So now I've got the, um, just the thin washi. So I sell this individually as well in a few different color options. So sometimes I won't actually do a weekly kit theme. Sometimes I'll just do the headers and washi and buy those. But positioning on this is where you can kind of fix your mistakes that you may have made with your header. So again, I just kind of put down a corner and then I make sure as I'm going along that it's covering up the color. But I usually put this on after the header. So if I did the header a little crooked and there's a little bit of extra space, I can usually cover it up a little bit with that. So I'm actually gonna do the order that is on the design, like the blue, pink, green, yellow. But sometimes, um, sometimes I want to switch it up to make it look a little more random. That's a little more fun. Um, oh my god, the color in this is so great. So again, just uh, stick this one piece down and get that straight, and focus on getting that perfect. Ooh, don't drop it. Oh my god and then just kind of pull it along line up with the edge and then press down see I just screwed that one up a bit the thin washi is really the one that does take a little bit of practice I mean for some people some people are, are like some people aren't picky right like some people are totally fine with just slapping their stickers down and that's that's great nothing against that um, but for, I'm just more commenting for those of those for those people who see them and they're like, oh my gosh, like how do you how do you get your stickers down like that? Like mine are always kind of all over the place. It really honestly just is patience and not being afraid to pull it up a bit and reapply if needed. Okay, so I'm probably gonna skip ahead because I don't think you really need to see me do all of these because I'm assuming that would be boring. Feel free to comment below if I skip ahead and then you're annoyed and you wish I didn't because then ne next time if I do one, I will not skip. But for now, I'm gonna skip it. Okay, so I'm done putting the thin washi down, but that's kind of the main base and then after that, I kind of get in with the boxes and that's pretty much it. I mean, to be honest, there's not, I mean, you can do the decoration stuff, but this is kind of my main planning thing for horizontal. So I will now do the decorative boxes, which are all of these lovely guys. And then um, for me personally, I kind of switch it up between patterns, like more kind of intricate image patterns and then like geometric patterns that are simpler. Um, I kind of do like every other or so or try to break those up. So when I'm choosing ones, like because these headers are so um, using like a, a graphic pattern, I'm going to stick to something more similar. I mean, they're all graphic patterns, but illustrated pattern, I should say. So I'm going to stick with something more simple. And I'm also going to use one that's like a different color than what I'm using just to kind of make it look fun and all over the place. So again, like I always tilt mine sideways when I'm doing this because just for me, it's a little bit easier to see where I'm placing it. Um, maybe I'll try and not do that just so you can see what's going on because otherwise you're gonna be like what the heck are you doing? So I'll go back to where I was. Oh my god, I bent my paper! No! Oh! Ah, whatever, we'll deal with that later. Okay, um, so I think I'll do the green here just because, uh, like, the green washi thing is down there. There's not any other green going on. I'm trying to think of what I have what days I have things going on. I definitely have something going on that day, that day, and that day. So I probably don't want 
anything too crazy on those. Anyway, but I always um I always kind of put my boxes in these little guys. And that's kind of like this is like my evolution of I I don't know if I can do this without without tilting, I don't know. We'll see. It's not gonna be placed as well, I guess. So I kind of try to align it to that line, because again I'm a little bit crazy about there we go, it's not too bad. Um, I just don't like when you kind of like, it's off center and then there's like little, there's like the little dotted line showing or the other line is showing. And sometimes that depends on the cut too. Like you can't always help that. Um, which one do I want to use now? Decisions. And I actually have one for all, of, all eight of them. And though really you don't have to put one here. So if you wanted to put an extra one on a different day or if you wanted to put like all of them covering up one day for whatever reason wouldn't really matter you could do that rock out I guess I'll do this one because that one's not really on this side I kind of try to switch up where where stuff is can't believe I'm doing my first video with permanent paper actually not turning out too bad other than the one this isn't only my second time using I don't I feel like I've already said this but in case I haven't this is my only my second time using the the um, glossy like permanent paper I usually use the matte removable all the time but I've just fallen in love with glossy because of the quality of the print see so that one's like a little off but you know what I don't even know why I care because you'll see later on I actually cover up this part anyway so it's kind of funny that I get so like worked up about where where they are and then I end up just covering it up anyway, so who cares? So so how many of you watching this have actually seen looked at my shop or seen my stickers? I'm just curious, like I'm curious if anyone's actually gonna find this just by YouTubing like planner videos or if they're just gonna find it because they know me. And like, do you watch planner videos all the time? Do you like, are you only watching this because it's horizontal specific? Like what's up? What's up girls? What's up? Or boys or whoever? Um, I'm gonna use the pink there. Use the pink, gonna look so pretty. So like I said, I usually actually plan on Sundays, but if I'm gonna be filming this, I'm gonna have to change that. We'll see how this goes too, because we'll see if my uh, if my camera doesn't like die. I did stop at one point, so that should at least help. But I find that um, because I'm filming on like an SLR camera, I find that like 10 minutes in, for whatever reason, with my camera, it just stops. And it's always when I like forget that I'm. These two are so cute. I'm gonna do. I'll do the stripes here. Keep kind of the stripey thing going and do the polka dots on the ends nobody knows what I'm talking about and that's okay oh my gosh this is too cute I just want to eat it okay so I do this first and then um, the next would be to do boxes so I have five to do box I kind of set up this kit based on how I use it so I'm sure that a lot of people are probably um, like there's way too many of this sticker or there's not enough of this sticker or something. So like, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you purchase one of my weekly kits, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what, if there's like stickers that you don't need that you get in it, or there's stickers that you, um, that you wish came in it, let me know. So I just do one to buy because I was doing, I was doing more when I was making them for myself and then it was just like, what was the point? And then I usually just put that down in the notes. So for me, how I use my planner is the notes is kind of like things I either need to do that week or things I need to remember for the next week. So see if I can show you the previous week without like getting crazy. I don't really want to, yeah, I don't want to give away personal information because there's some actual per information for other people too in here. So I don't like, I don't want to like accidentally 
put someone's name out there or address or email or something. But uh, like if I need to contact someone the next week, then I'll write it in here because my writing, you'll see, if I actually write down stuff, you're going to see my writing is really ugly. So I don't write it down until I plan for the next week. So I can do my, so I can do my before the pen photos for everybody. Um, so anyway, but I'll, and then if I need to buy stuff this week, or even if I need to buy it next week, I'll just write it down here because I always forget. Um, and then I kind of alternate to do boxes. So it's like blue, green, blue, green. Most of my kits are like that. Uh, this kit is available for vertical as well, by the way. Originally, I was just starting to make them for horizontal because I bought a horizontal. So I was like, screw you guys, I'm going to make all the horizontal kits. Um, and then I realized that was really a dumb idea because there's a lot of people with vertical and they'll get mad. So I don't want to make anyone mad. Okay, I will put that down here. So I don't have seven to-do boxes in the kit just because on the weekend, like, usually there's going to be at least two days where I'm not doing a bunch of stuff. And in general, like, in general, my Monday to Friday, I'm doing to-dos. And then on Saturday, Sunday, I kind of leave it and I can use the check, the checkbox, uh, checklist ones. Um, just because I find that's easier and it, it could fit more stickers that way. Because if we did, like, a ton of stickers, it would be, like, a six-sheet set, which would be just way too expensive for people to handle. Like, I would personally be pissed if I had to buy the, that many. Um... But I find this, I find this works. Like this is kind of, this is kind of the, what I started with when I first started doing planner stuff. Like I was a lot more boring than this, mind you. Um, when I first started, oh, whatever, we'll just leave that. When I first started, I kept it pretty simple. I started doing those monthly printable kits that are color coordinated to the planner. And people, don't get me wrong, like a lot of people love those because they're, they're just simple and it's like super cheap it's like four bucks and you get all the stickers you can possibly need for the month let me see if i can find a week where i'm not talking about stuff that i shouldn't be dangerous i've probably already shown things um i'll, I'll just post a i'll put a photo if i edit this video i'll put a photo on top but um i'll just link to them below so you can see Cause they're just they're just color coordinated to the planner. That's pretty much it. Like, so instead of doing all these pretty colors, it would be like the yellow color, which for April pretty much everyone hates because it looks like puke yellow, to be honest. But I still have it in case someone likes that color. To each their own, you know how it goes. Um, but I feel like I'm rambling so much now. So sometimes I would actually put a checklist here and then do my weekend banner. But I'm just going to do my weekend banner because I find that during the week I'm, I'm fairly busy with doing stuff. And then on the weekend I kind of leave my planner alone unless I'm planning. So I can kind of put all that stuff over on the left side. Oops. So let's see what else can we talk about guys. Cause I don't want to ramble on about myself too much, but like, I'm talking about the stickers a lot. So what kind of like, what kind of stickers do you like to buy? Like, do you buy weekly kits? I know a lot of people are looking for monthly kits, but like, would you rather spend like 30 bucks or something on a monthly kit than buy a couple of cute weekly kits? Oh, look at that. My thing, my video stopped like mid rant. I think that's probably, um, the camera's about to tell me to shut the heck up. I'm going to actually move Get the camera a little closer. Okay. Um, so I was rambling about what stickers people like, but whatever. I'll just get back to what I'm doing. <laughs> so, do, 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 do. Okay. So at this point, it kind of comes, this is usually like my before the pen look pretty much. Because after that, it comes down to what's going on that week. Um... But some things for me that I always have going on is that Tuesday, I've tried to designate my Etsy day. Which, yeah, that'll still work for this week. Oh my god, look here, they match! Oh, it's so cool! So I actually do a <laughs> extra checklist here. Because um, these to-dos are, like, what I... 
I work from home, so I do web design and I also do this. Um, I've been a graphic designer for eight years, so this is kind of more recent, but I love it. So um, these to do's are kind of more for like at home what I need to do and with my clients what I need to do, which is why I can't show you my planner right now. Um, but then also sometimes I'll throw Etsy stuff in there. But then um, on Tuesday, I kind of call that like my Etsy day. So that is really, um, I'll kind of do a list of stickers I want to do. Really, I think I need to break them up more throughout the week, but it, it just kind of depends on how many custom requests I have and what's going on there. Um, but I always put one on Tuesday and then throughout the week, I kind of keep this on hand throughout the week because I'll add as I go. Like if I know there's gonna be a day where I'm just like working like crazy on stuff, then um, that's kind of, I'll put them on as I go. I just find it helps me that day to make a to-do list. Okay, so for the, the flags, I actually, I use those when I have appointments, but sometimes I also use these. I think it's just personal preference. I kind of like these because they seem more fun and special, but if I had like a doctor's appointment or something I didn't want to go to, I'd probably use these ones. Um, and I also used this for a plan with me video last week. So I will probably, I'm going to do another one. So I'm going to do another planner video. And this is kind of where things get discombobulated if that is the right way to say that word. Um, because I don't really have, like I have a structure for how the layout works at kind of this point. Like all of this is pretty much solid. Every week it's the same, just different stickers. But then once I get into these stickers, it gets a little bit uh, crazy. Oops. So I'll actually put this, I'll try this on top here this time. And I usually like all appointments, I try to keep, Actually, I don't want to do that. No, you know what? Too bad. It's done. Um, usually appointments I try to keep at the very left side because uh, like I have like my decorative area or if I have a really special event, I'll put that on here. And then I have my to-do boxes. And then usually I'll end up putting a checklist. Um, like again, I, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to show you guys what I've already have in there just in case. But um, like five people are going to watch this. But just in case those five people want to try and stalk me, I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, but I usually kind of keep like those appointments and things down here. So I'm just going to write in now before I forget. And now is the moment of truth. You get to see my terrible, terrible, terrible writing. I'm going to try really hard to make it nice. Like I'm left-handed, which is fine. I know a lot of people left-handed who can write amazingly, but um, I don't know. I've always had terrible writing, even when I was a kid. Like it's like I just I don't know. I even tried working on it obsessively when I was in high school. I would come home and write in a journal every day just to practice, but it's just I just it's I can't help it. It's so funny because like I can make, I can make stuff on the computer and I can make it look amazing and I love it and it looks great. But like as soon as you get something in my hand to actually try and draw, it's just a nightmare. Anyway, so there's my little plan with me. So I'll try and do them on, film them on Thursdays because then I can post them probably like Friday or Saturday. Probably Fridays would be best. I'm not going to put down, I'm not going to actually put down the sticker of when to post it yet because, um... I haven't even posted this one, so I don't really know how much time I need to check it and edit it kind of thing. I shouldn't need to really edit it. Hopefully I don't like swear at someone. Um, so, and I also do kind of with the half boxes, I put those on like my special events. So on the 30th is my mom's birthday. So I kind of just stick that on there and put Mama's birthday. I'm actually gonna write mama. <laughs> not birthday though, it's gotta be birthday. Birthday, not birthday. And so I know a lot of people actually ask about what um, pens or markers to use to write on glossy. I have these uh, uni jet stream one millimeter pens um 
I got them at Staples when I was trying to find the um, the one, the G2 one that everyone likes, but they didn't have any pilot pens there, so I ended up getting these ones, and I love them. Uh, they work pretty good on glossy. Just don't immediately smear it, and you're fine. But you can see, like now, I'm kind of wiping on it, and nothing's happening. So I've got Mama's birthday, and then on Thursday, I also have. I have a friend. Um, she's a Stella and Dot stylist with me. I'm not gonna get into that. Basically, it's jewelry. Um, but she actually needed someone to be a model for her makeup because she's learning to do makeup. So um, that's happening on Thursday, which is gonna be exciting. I'm just wondering if I wanna put one of these down or not, or if I wanna do like an appointment. I'll put one of these down, cause it'd be fun. It's kind of like a fun thing. So if I'm like really excited about something, I'll use a half box, but if I'm not, crazy excited about something then I'll just use like I'll just use one of the like a little appoint appointment ones um, I'm just gonna write makeup for now and then I'll write where it is later because I don't need to tell you guys where it is so I try to kind of be a little stingy with the half box ones because I also use them in the monthly view um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Like, I don't do a lot of exciting stuff with my monthly view. You obviously, like, doesn't look that exciting. Um, usually that's actually where I go if I need to plan something ahead of time. But we'll talk about that in a minute. But I usually try to save a couple of these for that. Just in case there's special events. Uh, let's see. Now, since it's my mama's birthday on the 30th, there's the, like, teardrop stickers. So everyone uses these differently. Um, a lot of people use them as, like, appointment things. A lot of people just put it down to remember something and specifically. So, like, I could put it beside that. Um, I saw one person on the, I think it was We Love EC group, who did balloons with them. She turned them into balloons. And I thought it was, like, the cutest thing ever. So I've kind of stolen that idea, except that mine always looked terrible terrible compared to what hers look like so you just kind of stick them on like almost like they're upside down you know Ooh, doo, doo. so we got three of them and then you just kind of draw like a little oh god it's terrible oh you can just draw like a little bow just like a little kind of like crappy eight underneath them and then See, the one from there would come down here, and that one will come down, and then we'll just do that one to come like that, and then we'll do another boat. Sure. Um, so sometimes I'll do that if I have something special going on, like someone's birthday or things like that. Um, that's why I like to use those. So, okay, what else do we have going on? I'm meeting up with some old work friends on the first, I think. For that, there's so many half box events here. They're gonna use up all my half boxes. <laughs> um, but maybe I'll use that one as a flag because it's not 100% confirmed yet. I'm really hoping because I wanna get my drink on with my friends. So flags, I don't really have a good spot to put them to be honest. I'm gonna put it like right under the Friday because Friday is the day to party. Well, it's crooked. Whatever, it's happening. You know what? We'll be drinking, so we don't care if it's straight, do we? Um, drinks. I'll leave that for now. So I'm not gonna actually, usually I'd write in like the time and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that for now on these things. Um, just because me being paranoid. Okay, so like once I have that, it's pretty much set like I know that um if I'm doing my plan me videos that I'm planning on Thursday not Sunday so usually I would put something there um I do put my goal like my weight on Friday I, I weigh myself because I'm trying to lose weight um but I'm just not gonna write down that right now because no one needs to know how much I weigh it's nobody's business but I will put down or will I? I will put down a spot to put it in. 
works, I will. I'll just kind of put that in the bottom. Okay, so that's for later. I do have like weight scale icons and stuff, but they're all color coordinated to the monthly look. So I'm just sticking with my kit. So once I have those and like the general uh, structure of what's going on, like we're coming home, I think on the Monday, but I don't, I'm not really gonna like decorate that like crazy. Um, then I get into the decorative stickers. So most of the weekly kits have their own, have an extra, like a sheet of just decorative stickers. Um, some of them don't, those ones are cheaper because they're only three pages versus four. But then I just start putting stickers everywhere. So pretty much the big guys, this one this time. Um, we'll put a big Hello Spring kind of like right on top of the cover of the notes. Oh my gosh, it quit on me again. Okay, well, um, all I did was put on the frog. So <laughs> that's all you missed, I think, because we had this on. Okay, um, so I put in a big cute frog right there and then uh, there was a bee and I was just saying how I like, I'm terrified of hornets, even though I've never been stung. I know bees and hornets are different, um, but I'm still terrified. They scare the crap out of me. I just, I can't even be near them. Like I haven't been, I've never been stung before, but if there's even one like within viewing distance, I get so anxious, it's ridiculous. Um, trying to think of what days are not gonna be as crazy. Like I don't wanna put them here because they're all right there, even though I just did the same thing. So you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's put them right here. Let's put them right here. We're so cute. Okay, and then the other big guy is the cute little ducky. Ducky with the booties, look at him, he's so cute, I can't handle it. Okay, uh, and where's Ducky gonna go? Ducky, you know what, I got boom, 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 boom. Let's put him like over here, wait, more like here. Cause I usually don't write stuff like, I usually don't write a lot of stuff right here. It's like the checklists go here, if I'm putting a checklist in, and then these are always full up. So I'm pretty safe to kind of put stickers in this area just because I don't use it. Like I don't, I don't journal or anything, so it's not really a big deal. And let's see, we've got this big birdie. Okay. So now we've got Snaily. Snaily's gonna go on, frig, there's a lot of little guys on this one. I don't know if I'm gonna use them all. Snaily's gonna go on Saturday. Cause it's gonna be a lazy Saturday, apparently. I'm gonna draw a little snail sludge, is that weird? I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. Snail sludge. I'm definitely not an illustrator, as you can see. With my <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna put a lazy Saturday on it. Like I would love to get really good at lettering, but I just don't think that I even have the like motor coordination to do it. There, that's as good as it's gonna get. Um, and then there's like a bunch of little guys, so I won't necessarily put all of these on either. Like I kind of include a ton of them just so that in case other people are like love them. So I liked that, like I had um, my spring hunters, I had the like flowers poking up on top. That was kind of fun. Where do I wanna put this? Have it going out from underneath something. No. If these were removable, I would actually layer the stickers. Um, but that's not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna put a couple on. And there's a butterfly. Put the butterfly right there. Oh, actually, put them over here. And he kind of looks like he's going out from the Hello Spring. And then there's another little birdie in booties. Oh my god, they're so cute. I can't handle it. Put them right there. So like I still have a couple of extras, but um, I'm gonna save those because I might throw them on the monthly somewhere. Just because it's like spring. I'll put a couple in here now. Boop, boop. And then I won't put anything on, I won't put them on the days just because like I know things will come up. 
And I'll put this guy right here. Uh -huh. And that's like, that's pretty much it. I mean, like, it just depends on the week how much, how crazy I get. Um, but I really like that you have the option with horizontal to section things off. So like you can have a set two or three or four sections even if you want to, but then when there's days where you're not doing as much, you don't like you could fill it up with with fun junk or whatever. Um, so that's why I chose horizontal. I'm actually I've ordered a vertical one in because they went on sale, but it's mostly to kind of practice with um, with other stickers that I'm making because I'm making vertical ones as well and like I have most of the measurements, but. Sometimes things come up where like I want to test it out on a planner before I actually sell it. So I might do some plan with me videos with the vertical depending on how I like it. Um, but for now it's going to be horizontal. Now the only other thing on this kit that I wanted to cover was these ones. So people probably see these and they're like what the heck like the pattern is sideways. Like this is not, what is this for? Um, and I've seen some people use them in these boxes and that's fine like they don't really fit it perfectly because that's not what they're meant for but they fit it okay so you can you can use it for that um, I think it actually would fit no it's not um, but what it's meant for is actually for the monthly um, so I include a couple of like there's four in each weekly kit and the reason being like you can see I did this with a different kit um, I kind of use it if I want to showcase a day or for like these days that are at the end of the beginning of the month. Um, sometimes I'll put them there just to block it out so it's not there. Well, actually that is the 30th, that is part of April. But for like these guys, some people don't like having the last days of like the month before in the actual month that they're on. So that's kind of what they're there for, but they're also for like special, special events that might be happening. So I'll kind of throw one of these down and then throw down um, a half box on top to say what the event is. Um, so it really just depends, like some of the months get a little crazy because of that. And I don't wanna showcase that so much because it's like my terrible writing and then you probably just found out like stalker information or something that you don't wanna know. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long and rambly and boring. Um, I will be doing more of them. So please let me know in the comments. Um, if there's something you, if you have questions or if there's something you want to see more of or less of, if I'm rambling too much, or, um, if there's any specific kits in my shop that you want to me to, to want to see me use, to see how I use them, then let me know. Like the weekly kits in general are pretty much the same structure. Um, but then there's other things like these, these day of stickers that you're probably looking at them and going, I don't understand how those work. So if you're ever wondering, just ask me and I'll make a video of how to use those. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you found this useful, especially if you're new to horizontal, then I hope that this kind of helped you see the possibilities for what you can do. Like you saw with just headers and washi, how much it actually changed the look of the page. So even if you were doing that kind of thing, instead of doing like a weekly kit, um, of course, uh, I did not mention this, but I actually they sell these as printables as well. So you don't have to buy them just because like you don't have to buy like the printed stickers if you have a silhouette or like a cam or a Cricut at home. Um, I don't have the studio files, but I give you instructions on how to make it. That's really easy. Um, and I give you a couple of different files to work with as opposed to like just giving a JPEG. So I just find they're a little bit better than some other ones I've seen where you can't you can't make a cut file out of it, so I actually give you a cut file. Anyway, um, so you can actually do these as, as a printable file if you wanted to, and then that way you don't have to um, you don't have to keep repurchasing if you really like one week, or you could keep reusing that same set if you liked that. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching, uh, and I hope you have an amazing week. And tell me below what your favorite planner stickers are to use. Like, what do you use headers? Do you use to do boxes? What do you love? And I'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys.